Rosie Batty knows too well the impact of family violence. Her son Luke killed by his father last year and at least one woman continues to die every week at the hands of a current or former partner. It's not good enough. It will continue on that vein, uninterrupted, unless we make significant change. She's welcomed a major report by RMIT University which makes sweeping recommendations for change. I'm thrilled to see a report that places the perpetrator into focus. Currently, we victim blame and somehow the perpetrator goes under the radar. The report highlights how the justice system can interrupt the cycle of domestic violence by shifting the focus from victims to offenders. Among the recommendations, flash incarceration for offenders who break intervention orders, bringing families back before the same judge, more funding for behavioural change programs, as well as treating the root cause of domestic violence, including addressing alcohol and mental health problems. Too often, the detached operation of the conventional court process serves to propel perpetrators away and cement isolation rather than keep them within reach of effective intervention. Victorian Legal Aid has welcomed the report in a statement saying legal representation is vital in tackling family violence. The report recognises the valuable role lawyers play in making sure perpetrators understand their behaviour is unlawful and referring them to services such as behavioural change, mental health or addiction programs. The report will be presented to the Victorian Royal Commission into Family Violence. The state government's allocated $40 million for the probe, estimating it'll take around a year to complete. The focus will be on finding early intervention strategies. The report received federal funding and was presented to the Attorney-General's office last week. Sam Cucciara, CIN News.